Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. Uh, welcome to a beat breakdown video. Uh, this is a fresh beat that I did completely with all of the Sounds for Producer sounds. As you can see, some of these uh, percussion sounds, clap, percussion, 808, and kicks, mostly drums. And I did, it's more like, um, what, what's his name? Murder Beats type style, but it's a trap beat that sounds pretty cool. But uh, let me know what you think like uh, who you hear on it in the comments definitely appreciate it so speaking of appreciation thank you for our subscribers and if you haven't sub hit that sub button and click the bell as well so that way you're alerted to the new videos that come out for the channel uh this video i'm gonna break down the beat really quickly um let's start with the uh, first sound which is the main melody uh let's see here and it's at 150 bpm so check it out and with that sound i did a lot of crazy stuff to lead i did half time initially uh at two bars pulled down the mix at 69 percent and left that sustain right there um then i eq'd it boost the highs a little bit cut the lows and then i um use reverb and then i was trying things with glitch too but i didn't like how it came out but shaper box saved the day i did some timing effect and some width effects i could do it all here this is what this sounds like without the effects my bad here you go big difference right so check it out so yeah and then i did halftime after all that again so i did a lot of cool stuff there just a lot just to make that sound like that um that's actually not a lot because you can oops <laughs> you can do a lot more <laughs> i don't even know where i put halftime which halftime is this Maybe you can undo that. Can you? You cannot. So let's put that way up there. Let's see if it sounds the same. All right. That sounds the same to me. Um, so next I did as a little symbol here. Did some halftime automation uh, during the uh, during the verse, so I'll let you hear that later. Uh, next, I added. Let's see, what sound was that from? I think it was Nexus. Let me show you what the lead was from. Yeah, it was Nexus, and the sound actually is Simple Flute. If you want to recreate it or do whatever, um, this here was right. This was the hi-hat pattern. Jeez. This was the hi-hat pattern that I came up with. Um, what you can do, something really cool. Um, for instance, I can highlight and select that one hi-hat and do Alt-A. And then you can adjust the time multiplier. It's the arpeggiator. So if you adjust that, oops, you can do some let me just cancel that for now. I'm trying to show you a little trick. Alt-A. I'm not sure why it's not doing it. Maybe if I select multiple ones. Alt-A. Okay. Maybe I'm forgetting something because that's what I did before. And I created this kind of cool. Is it Control-A? Oh, that makes sense. Control A highlights all. Let's just do all A. See now it's doing it. So I'm not sure why it's only affecting those notes. But anyway, um, if you hit all A and mess with the time multiplier with hi hats, you can kind of make some cool patterns. So I'm gonna cancel that so I don't overwrite what I did. 
and this is the pattern that it kind of created this little uh, sequence of uh, hi-hat here just to kind of make it different and then I did a steady one on top of it as well so this is what it sounds like um, I just play the intro and unmute all those so check it out <laughs> halftime uh, just for I use halftime automation that goes across the whole verse like that um, this is <laughs> not what I usually do but I usually have just one long thing of automation I was in, in a rush making this beat um, to, to make sure I reach my release date and for all you producers out there make sure you have a release date um, a release schedule so that way you're releasing content on a steady basis uh, but yeah, usually I have a long automation across the whole thing or just that particular section. But if you notice it's on here, it's raised up. That means it's on or enabled up to this point to the next course. Um, the next thing I did was like just kind of did it put it in for song format and just kind of took out some parts here and there. It wasn't much that I did to this beat. It's pretty straightforward, but it didn't have many melodies or complexity and that sometimes you need that so that way artists can hear themselves in it and can relate to it better um so i'll play it a beat more so you can hear basically what's happening so let's start from the verse <laughs> satisfied with it at first but as more I worked on it it started coming together better um, so like I said earlier all these sounds are actually um, from all our loop packs shout out to everybody buying the loop packs right now and also those that downloaded a free loop pack uh, it'll be the link in the description so you can check that out um, and definitely tag us in anything that you make with our sounds so that way we can so show you some love and repost and retweet and whatnot um, so the first uh, the sound that I started with was a Scorpion 808. Nice. Make sure you have some good headphones or a good studio monitors to listen to these. Uh, next thing was like a percussion bongo. Um, this that 808 was actually in Scorpion Sting Volume One. Right there. So that pack is on sale right now, and uh, it's actually a link in the description for that pack. So the next sound I used was the Silly Games Clap uh, 2. Nice layered clap there. They can use pretty much in any beat. Um, then the kick. It's a really short, strong kick uh, with a lot of presence. Uh, what else I use? Another hi-hat. 
a real short choppy um, trap hi-hat and here's like almost a shaker but just to add some variation the other hi-hat I use and then a crash and those are automations so uh, just wanted to go over every sound that I use other than the melody for this beat um, the other sounds are in various packs but you know like every pack gets um, let me show you a bonus one shot and they're broken down by different you know sounds whoops uh, they're broken down by um, folders as well for quick reference and like for instance and this bonus one shots is all this so and I believe they're on sale right now for 19.95 so get it while you can um, at that price so yeah basically um, you can use these sounds in almost any genre but they're really good sounds for you know presence um, creating dope stuff I mean definitely have fun and, and be creative with it that's what producing is all about and I uh, just wanted to go through every sound that I use other than the melody and again you know it's been your boy DJ fanatic it sounds for producers.com um, if you haven't subscribed hit that sub button click the bell so that way you you can see the alerts and see the new videos coming and also give it a thumbs up if you're feeling the beat so definitely appreciate the love and those that um, subscribe to the channel really appreciate you guys and gals and uh, just keep rocking all right peace y'all apologize for no intro in this video i just wanted to jump right into this beat and show you so i'm happy with i was going to scratch this beat so i'm happy how it turned out so anyway let me stop talking i'll catch you next time peace <laughs>